Good morning everyone, thank you for coming down on uh, what has been a great week for the club. Our first win on Friday night against Adelaide. On Saturday our National Youth League team started their season with a big win as well. So on the back of that, I'd like to welcome our new signing goalkeeper Nathan Coe. Uh, Nathan's been in Europe for probably the last 10 years playing his trade. He's played for Socceroos at underage level and also in the Socceroos squad last couple of seasons. So Nathan's put pen to paper for a three year deal for the Melbourne Victory. We're very excited about it and uh, pending uh, international clearance, he'll be available this week. Well, that's up to the coaches, but uh, we're trying to make him available. Uh, why do you need another goalkeeper? Well, that's a question obviously for the coach, but uh, I think it's about bringing quality people to the club. Anytime a quality player becomes available, we're interested. How did it come about, Trim? It's obviously a pretty experienced song. Is it just recently, or have you been working on this one for a while? Oh, no, pr pretty recent. Obviously, we're always looking at our squad, then you're always looking around at who's available as well. So uh, our coach has always got his uh, eye on what's happening everywhere, and, uh, and this came about uh, just recently. What does it mean for the Galapi and Thomas at this point? Well, it means competition, doesn't it? And uh, I think any good club, any strong team has competition for all places, and uh, hopefully those players will see that as a, a real spur, and uh, there'll be three people competing for the number one spot. Nathan, why the victory? Uh, basically... I spoke with Ange and you know he told me his um, plans for the future and I wanted to be a part of it. I think it's a big club here in Australia and I think it's very professional and a fantastic setup and um, I believe that you know it's a great club to be involved in and I want to go forward and play for the victory. Did you want to come back to the A-League or was it specifically the opportunity at the victory? I mean the opportunity at the victory came up and it was something that I was very interested in and I wanted to take. Is it to do with Ange mostly? I mean, Ange and the club, I mean, as I said before, I think it's a massive club here. And I've worked with Ange before with an under-17, under-20 level, and I think that he is a great coach. I think he's proved that at the last two seasons with the Raw as well. And uh, to work under him is, is a very big achievement, a uh, very big uh, honour. What part of his plans are particularly appealing? I mean, to, you know, to make the club even more uh, successful as it, as it was a few years ago and build on uh, bringing players... Um, you know, that can really do that, and that's what I found appealing. Have you been considering a move back to Australia for a while? Uh, no, not, not really, no. I mean, uh, when this came available, it was probably the first time I really thought about it properly, and um, yeah. Have you had a chance to speak to the international setup, Holger, about? Yeah, I did speak with Holger, and uh, he, he was under the impression that um, Ange is a great coach to play under, and um, you know, he gave it the blessing and uh, he believed that, yeah, this is a good move for me. Is that a concern before you come back to the A-League to check that it won't hurt you know, Socceroos? I mean, of course, I want to be involved with Socceroos and stay there and, you know, push for, you know, a higher position there. Um, so, yeah, it, it does, you know, you do think about those sorts of things. But as I said, I spoke with Holger and he believed it was a good um, opportunity to play in front of them every week and to also be uh, coached by a great coach. How do you prepare for it, if you do play this weekend, how do you prepare for a game where you don't really know the players, obviously the KB, you know, it's a bit of a director's role as well, yeah. um, how hard is that? I think that uh, I've had a pretty good uh, experience before with that, you know, playing in different countries with different languages, it's uh, something that I'm used to, I believe, and so it's, it's really any other game, if I get the chance to play, that uh, focus on what you've got to do and pretty much keep the ball out of the net, but also, you know, uh, make sure your communication is clear and probably makes it a little bit easier now that uh, I'm in, back in Australia speaking English. Look, Latin, have you had a chance to speak to Tando? No, I haven't. I, I've come in this morning, uh, met everyone briefly and uh, seen the medical staff and that's really all I've done. So but it's part of the goalkeeping union type? Yeah, definitely. You know, I'm so, sure so that... Uh, do you have when you come into a club like this when there's two um, existing first, first team players? Effectively? Yeah, I mean, we'll, I'm sure we'll have a chat and um, he seems like a fantastic guy. Both of them do. And I think they're good goalkeepers. Uh, you know, got football is sort of like that. There's always... Um, different positions where people are fighting for it. I guess every position is like that. So, you know, um, I'm sure we'll all get on along well and fight together. If you do play this weekend, you'll come up against Samuel Heskey. Is that exciting for you as a keeper? Yeah, definitely. I think he's been a massive draw card for this league. I think he's done some amazing things, played at unbelievable clubs, and uh, he's a great player. So, you know, when you can play against players like that, you know, you're always excited and always looking forward to it. So what was your situation in Denmark where you were happy playing there at the time? Yeah, basically I had two years at my last club, I decided not to re-sign, I, I felt that I needed a change and uh, 
you know, when Ange and I spoke, I believe that the victory was a great, great fit for me. And when did he first get in contact with you? I was only a few days ago. Um, Paul, it was, there was speculation that Jade North was going to come out. Was that ever in the pipeline? And if so, would have that affected your ability to sign out and spots on the list and all that sort of thing? Uh, we didn't speak to Jade North at any point. No. Are there any more songs in the horizon? Well, you wouldn't rule out anything. Like I said, we're always reviewing our list, we're always looking to improve, we're always looking to bring quality players to the club. So uh, we'll be continuing to do that throughout the season. And just for clarification, I guess, with the song you made being possible if Dan's still on the list? Well, obviously, yeah, when, uh, when the list changes, then obviously spots open up and obviously with the salary cap and everything like that, you work all the, the angles and the numbers. So. Hey, where are you from? Brisbane originally. No, no desire to go back home? Brisbane? Ah, I think Melbourne's a pretty good city, so I'm pretty happy here.